Okay. <laughs> All right. It's so great to meet. So thank you for being here in class live. Um, I feel like I'm totally overwhelmed. So I don't know about how you are doing. Um, um, seem to have no time for to get it all right and all that and um, but that's just how it appears how it feels for a moment um, so I'm gonna let go of it of the idea um, so we start this meeting with uh, um, so introduction with silence with uh, meditation with some words and um, the, just going to relax even more with you and which is which is a great thing to do so I'm really <laughs> I'm really happy that we can do this so um, are you with me in that like, do you need to to unwind a little or do you need to relax and uh, find your center back like okay where's my center here it is Ooh, so this would be the time to to release whatever can be released like let it go release it by breathing and by by just turning the switch in your mind like okay i'm not gonna hold on to anything right now i'm gonna let it all go uh, it is what it is that's that's where i come back to like well yeah this is what it is this is what it looks like this is how it feels and it's perfectly all right and, and we don't need to fix it we don't need to adjust it we don't need to do anything with it uh, except letting it be but that's what it does by itself anyway um, so maybe it helps to focus on your breath for you like you close your eyes and start to breathe in and breathe out release the breath Oof. Oh, and maybe you want to move your body a little bit so that you feel like oh yeah it's so good to take time to relax myself a little and open up oh open up my chest and my back and like oh yes oh my god i can't believe it how i need that today how lovely that is um, it's really great so in other words you can just be yourself in class and if you listen to this and i don't need to tell you that at all i know that you that you know that um, but some things i just remind myself of and that's what i share with you so you can actually only teach what you want to learn that's always what i see too and uh, teaching then is demonstrating you can demonstrate it what you want to learn and so the release the relaxation and the focusing the centering that that i allow right now is is really what i say teach myself by demonstrating it by going into it by feeling it by taking time to really let that come to me yeah just like you would wait or i'm going to let somebody in um, so just to to wait and sink deeper into um, inspiration into the place where hey communication is natural I always love that idea it's like that's really the center of me it knows it's certain it is uh, light it is um, easy and that's the great place to go to so if that isn't it, it isn't it yet, or it is not, you didn't find it yet, or well, you can search for it, you can, but you know where to find it now. So it's, it's in you, it's happening in you, let everything else go, and you don't need to know anything for it, you can relax into it. So in a moment I'm going to pop something on the screen here that that also helps you to to see that and that is to me the thing that is right in my face you know it's like this is right in my face i love the expression 
I love the expression of it. It brings me right to the place where I, where nothing but my certainty remains and the rest all falls apart. And, and that's the great thing, you know, about um, getting in touch with something deep, like really with your whole being, you start to hear it and listen to it. You start to experience it. And, and that's, you can find it in text, in scripture, in poems, in songs, in moments of silence. You, you know, it's like God speaks to me in, in many, many ways. And it is God's voice I suddenly hear because it lifts me out of where I was before. It literally lifts me out of my human frame of reference, of my associative way of thinking, a conceptual way of thinking. It takes me right out of it. So there's nothing of the ordinary human activity that I have to do in order to get in touch with the truth of who I am. That's so great, and I love that. So I'm going to let someone in. And <clears throat> so being in this quiet place, being in this still spot inside of you, in fact, nothing can disturb you. Uh, all the things that appear to disturb you for a moment, a moment ago, seem to be gone. They seem to be nowhere. So, so it's literally you take your investment out of it. You, you, yeah. You say like, okay, yeah, yeah, that to me isn't a trigger now. That's not what it. Yeah, that's not what I'm gonna help me um, find something like my silence, for instance, my stillness. No. I'm going to let go of it just in order to sink deeper into myself, into this place of, of actual stillness, of certainty. And whatever happens on the way down there inside myself, um, I'm going to let that happen. So some emotions might come up or some thoughts are starting to become annoying like in your face kind of annoying and but you still don't do anything with them you let them pass by as the clouds in the sky and and still you're moving deeper into your stillness into your the place where you can actually find that communication where that is natural so it's not that you uh, lose anything by going there and, and that's the loveliness of it too. So like I said, I want to share with you um, it's a statement. It's a statement where, say, the world is really afraid of to hear. Um, and um, But you're not the world. You are the one waking up out of this dream of separation. So, so that's why I show this to you. Um, because it's... If you hear what it says, you're literally being lifted out of it. It is a portal. It is literally a portal. It is where you step into your certainty. You only have to hear it. That's all. And so I'm going to show that to you. Hopefully that will happen right away. Yeah. Share. No, that's not it. That was an oldie. <laughs> <laughs> that's always um yeah this was the one yeah so now I'll try it again uh, share yeah this was the one um you might have seen it before it's from a course in miracles um and it's great i love it i do not know the thing i am and therefore do not know what I'm doing, where I am or how to look upon the world and on myself. So I do not know the thing I am and therefore I do not know what I'm doing, where I am or how to look upon the world and on myself. So this is a statement I'm talking about. In this learning, it says, is salvation born. What you are will tell you of itself. 
So you don't have to do that. You don't have to tell you about yourself. You don't have to tell anyone about yourself. No, I do not know the thing I am, and therefore I do not know what I'm doing, where I am, or how to look upon the world and on myself. And, and the special part I really love also then is what you are will, will speak of itself, like what you are will tell you of itself, it will manifest itself in you, that's what I love about it. And, and also the not knowingness connected to it. I don't know the thing I am, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know what I'm here for, I have no idea what would be the best for me. I have no idea. I really don't know. So if you're open like that, like if you can admit that, if you can be open like that, then what you are will manifest itself. It will show itself because that's the only thing that's left. So and I love this because this is literally what we do in this introduction. It's like to to literally come to the place where you don't know, where you give up your ideas, your concerns, your occupations, your connections, your reasons why you're here, what you're doing and all that, all the reasons why you do what you do, all the reasons why you think that you know who you are and why you do the things that you do and all that and the opposite way too. Can you follow me? <laughs> so it's like that is so great. That's what we do here, letting go of that. Like, I don't know what to think about myself. I don't need to be concerned either. I don't know what to share with you, but I don't need to be concerned with that. Like, what I am speaks of itself. And that's, you can listen to that. So it helps if you put everything aside in that sense, putting all your concepts and ideas aside in order to be completely open. And, and see, this is, this is uh, the step into your certainty. And this, this manifests itself to you in a very specific way right now, you know, a very specific way. So that's why the assignment for today, like for this class was like, share some scripture of something that is so close to you and so um, has to do with where you find yourself that's so undeniably present in you. Um, like I said in the beginning, for instance, your overwhelmedness or your who knows what, but also a text that might just tackle you all the time that is so in your face that you love so much to share because you hear something in it. And, and this is, yeah, this was the assignment to, to come to that, to come to finding that or seeing that, being aware of it, that, that something is there for you that is happening right now in you uh, reading something, um, reading a poem or who knows what what you bring in. But that is um, the inspiration, in fact, that is working with you right now. And that's why I love to, to bring it into awareness and to share it and to work further with it in the, in the next lesson, for instance, or in the next class that you, you use maybe just one line or one word out of it and bring that to expression in a, in a whole different form that you, than you could possibly expect. But I'll talk about that later. But for now, it's like the not knowing, the uncertainty, like the deep uncertainty that is actually your human existence, that is your not idea about yourself, like you don't know what to think about yourself. And, and the honesty to admit that uh, is so freeing, is, sets you free of, of all limitations, in fact. And um, yeah, that's lovely, that's great, uh, because it's, it doesn't bind you to the past or to your past associations. 
and and that's something to be really uh, say well aware of in this transformational process that you don't uh, base your moment this moment on the past and and that is so say that can sneak in really easily because you're so that these are habits things that you are used to you're so familiar with it that you don't even know that you're doing it so that's why it comes into uh, awareness by by sharing it and so it's like oh i don't need to do that i i really sometimes i i give an advice to someone it's based on my old association of myself like a old an old experience of myself who knows how it will be now for anyone you have no idea you have no idea so your past learning is not a resource it is it is just in the way of letting this moment be new that makes all the difference and your conceptual say um fabric of your uh, of yourself of your psyche so to speak your conceptual fabric of it is also just in the way for you to be open to to come to new ideas that are given to you so there goes your education or there goes your background or your old um, school that you went to all the old information that you carry with you with an idea like you perpetuate that into the future in order otherwise what would you know you would know nothing well this is great you don't know anything you don't know who you are where you come from what you're doing here and how this is supposed to look and what you're supposed to do so can you admit that with me that would be wonderful because then we can actually meet in the same place otherwise you if you come with your concepts and try to convince me of something or someone else of something where is it based on so we will ask these questions today it's like where is it based on what you're sharing is it based on the past we're not going to use that sorry let it go so here's something new we're going to discover what it means or you have an yeah maybe you have an epiphany about what something means well share it it's happening in the moment i never thought this would happen that i could share it in the moment exactly what i experience now Or maybe you just become quiet because you're touched by the place that you enter into by slowing down and by letting all your concepts go and just enjoying your stillness and feeling that communication no matter what is being shared it's like what is being shared and what is happening right now is not a block to you experiencing the connectedness with everyone that is here and that's connected with you you know that that is a given so um, maybe that's a great idea to to listen like that I'm literally talking to myself what I hear that's being shared is given to me it is coming from me it is it is part of me it is not separate from me it is not proving anything no it is given so and this, slowly but certainly you come to the point where you see that there's no moment in your day where that is absent and there's literally no exception to it either like everything is connected to you everyone is connected to you and it is up to you to to stay in that say heart and love frequency for yourself in order to receive it what is being shared so if the noise of the mind <laughs> the noise of the mind starts to put this disturbance uh, channel on you won't be able to hear it now this is the heart frequency is like the, the smell of a rose it's like ah you breathe it in it's not something that you breathe out or something no you sniff it up it's like oh look at that it's so lovely well if you listen to your brother like that you're gonna have like a miracle happening to you 
See, and this is what we train and this is what we practice. Um, maybe you haven't heard it like this before, but um, that's great too. It, it was just invented. It was just shared with you. This is fresh coming to you. New inspiration. <laughs> All right, so thank you for listening. And we're continuing class with uh, our sharing. Thank you.